Psalm 44. Psalms 42 and 43 were about feeling personally separated from the Creator. In this psalm, the writer considers how God's people feel as a group when this is the case. The writer remembers how the Creator has been with them in the past and has brought them success. This is no longer the case. They are separated from the Creator and are leaderless, and they pray to the Lord to bring his presence and restore them. Psalm 44 reimagined. A psalm from the Kora family, given to the choir director to arrange. O Creator, we all know the story as it was passed down in our family, the story of all that you did for our ancestors. You gave them a land in which to live, driving out peoples who did not follow you. You liberated them by quashing their oppressors. It was not their military might that allowed them to triumph, or their strength of arms. It was your courage and determination, your transforming presence, and the reassurance of your love. You are my leader, and my creator, and you still bring success to your people. It is your strength that allows us to overcome oppression, and it is your character that unites us to defy our opponents. I cannot rely on my physical strength or the force of my determination to bring freedom. You alone bring success in delivering justice and you shame those who would oppose us. In every waking moment we adore you, our Creator, and we will pay tribute to your courage and integrity forever. But you no longer stand with us and we are humiliated. We are leaderless and do not know which way to turn. You have left us under attack from those who hate who we are, and our stand for justice is in decline. You have crushed our strength and purpose, and we've lost our unity. What have you gained from our loss of control and the shredding of our reputation? Our former partners now ridicule us, and those we sought to help hold us in contempt. They make fun of our shame and pretend to be sympathetic about our downfall. The disgrace of our situation is ever present and everyone can see how uncomfortable we are. Every moment brings new jibes as our opponents push home their advantage. Why is this? You are front and centre of all our thoughts and we have kept the promises we made to you. You have first place in our hearts and we have followed all your guidelines and advice. But you have humiliated us, cutting us off from all hope and support. We have lost our vision and future. Could we have neglected our devotion to our Creator, or placed our hope and trust in someone else's leader? Our Creator would definitely have noticed this, as there is nothing which escapes his attention. For your purpose, we are dying a little each day. We are defenceless and unprotected open to all attacks. Stir yourself, boss. Are you asleep? Please end this separation. Reach out to us. Why are we not the focus of your attention? Why do you turn a blind eye to our anguish and mistreatment? We are fainting from exhaustion, not having the strength to pick ourselves up. Pick us up and support us. Free us because of your undying love.